Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you how to take audio that you captured separately from your video camera like a digital recorder and edit it in uh, Adobe Premiere or some of your basic uh, video or more advanced video editors. This workflow will be pretty much the same but this is going to show you how you have a separate audio file from the video file and how you sync them up. Now if you guys have, are coming from the Neil Kesterson audio series and you already kind of know how to do this um, if you aren't, up in the upper right corner, there'll be a link back, a link to episode two, which kind of covers um, recording separately um, your audio because onboard uh, video cameras like the DSLR don't really give you the best audio. Um, it, just real fast, um, to do separate audio, you're going to want to make be able to make a noise or use a clapper, um, as well as you need to recording audio onboard your camera, even though that you'll be recording your main audio, the audio you're going to keep separately on like a digital recorder. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring in the footage. Um, I'm going to bring in, I'm just going to double click here and uh, this also this workflow will be the same for PC or Mac. We're going to bring in, here's my audio file and let's bring in my video file. I've got them both stored on my desktop. Now the sound will be a little bit off because this microphone that I'm talking into now is also going to be recording the audio from my laptop, my onboard uh, speakers on my laptop so you guys can kind of hear what's going on as I'm explaining this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up the video file and we want to scroll through till we get to where our clap is or our noise is. Right here we're using a clapper. So um, my objective is the second the clap finishes is to set my endpoint. So um, we're going to back up just a tad bit. Okay. So you heard him say mark, you got the clap. So now what I'm going to do is set my endpoint and then we'll scroll down a little bit to let's say my actually we're going to put in the whole entire footage uh, not the whole entire we'll, we'll scroll down we'll get a little bit and we'll set an out point so now what we're going to do is drag that out into my timeline now one of the first things I like to do is uh, right click and go on and uh, unlink both the audio file and the video file and you could actually if you wanted to go on and turn off the onboard video file that you guys captured next thing we're going to do is double click on the external audio file that we the way that we use. Now if you notice there's a spike right here and this spike that's right here is probably where the clap is. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over and we're going to listen. All right, mark. And if you notice right there he said mark got the clap. That's where the spike is. I'm going to scroll back just a tad bit. So as you guys heard, Mark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set our endpoint, and then I'll scroll down a little bit, and we'll set an out point. So now what we're going to do is drag the audio file in. There's your thing. Just drag it right into here. And let's see if the audio where the audio file went. If it dragged in, I don't know why it threw it all the way down here, but we'll move it up a couple if it will allow me to. Oh, it's being a little ornery here. Well, I'm just going to leave it where it's at, I guess. Okay, so you can see my video files here, my audio files here. So now what we're going to do, now that both of those frames should have been stopped right after the, the sound was made, the clap, a noise, whatever you want to do to sync up the onboard audio with the external audio so you guys have a reference. Um, so now we're going to play it back and see how it sounds, see if it's on point, see if the mouth is moving. Um, so what we'll do is we will bring up this video so that you guys can actually see it. And let's play it. So if you notice and if you guys can see, um, the audio of my mouth speaking or Nil over to the right's mouth is speaking, 
the uh, audio is pretty much dead on. Um, we'll play a little bit more so you guys can watch it. Um, the best thing to do to, to really pay attention is watch the mouth and see if there's uh, an offset. So if they if it looks like my mouth is saying something but the audio is coming after, if there's a lag or if it's taking too long or, it's, or the audio is coming before what I say. But if you notice, it's pretty much dead on and it's really, really simple to do. So let's watch this a little bit longer. And what we can do is we can actually now that they're synced up correctly, you can just lengthen the footage now if I wanted to, and I could lengthen it all the way out to where the audio is at, and we could bring it back up so you guys get a full view. Really, what we can do is just hit Shift tilde key, and that'll kind of bring you into full screen. But the audio is pretty much synced up. My mouth does move pretty quick, so it, it may look like it's a little bit off, but it's pretty dead on. Um, if we actually wanted to, we could hit shift tilde key again, and we could just bring the audio way out so you could actually hear Neil talk. And he talks a little bit slower than I do, so when he's speaking, you could probably notice the audio is a lot more dead on. Um, so there you go. There's a the part with Neil. So shift tilde again. Oops. It full screens the box that you're in in Premiere, shift tilde, and let's watch Neil talk. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to do general basic microphone, how to set it up, what they are. Then if you want to go explore further, you can get into more detail about the different types of microphones. And there you go. And that is how you sync up um, audio that you captured separately from the camera, like again in a digital recorder. Um, and how you sync it up. So the biggest thing to do is to make a reference noise, um, a clap of some sort like that, so that both the onboard audio, which should be capturing your just ambient audio that you're not going to use, and the external audio both have a reference. So that when you go in, you can look at the WAV files here. And we'll bring this up a little bit. So you can actually see that uh, right here, you can see where the spike is. Um, as well, you can do that with, if I wanted to open up the actual audio, you can see where the spike is on it as well. So the spike should be pretty much in the same, or it will be in the same exact spots, and you can use that to link it up. Um, our spike is right here, it looks like. Actually, we have to scroll way back, it looks like. There's our spike right there. So both have the spike in the same exact spot, and you link those up. It's very, very simple to do, and it allows you to capture much better audio when you're shooting your films or doing interviews. So anyways, I hope this helped you guys out. I'm David with Media Unlocked. Check us out on Facebook at David D. Images, as well on Twitter at Media Unlocked. And again, we have the website we recently put up. That is David. That is MediaUnlocked.net, so check that out as well. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.